Okay, good morning. We have a Kenmore Elite dishwasher, uh, the older one, but a high-end dishwasher. And the complaint was it was leaking out this corner here a little bit. Small leak. And um, it wasn't too hard to find it, but uh, there's a couple things that can happen with the dishwashers. So we can see uh, there's a float switch here. Uh, and uh, that stops from too much water going in there. Sometimes when a bunch of crud gets under the switch, some it, uses, uh, it happens like a sponge. It seeps, the water seeps through that hole. So uh, taking the float out and cleaning it would be a first thing to do. Also, one thing to watch is how level is the dishwasher. Right now you can see this, this gap is perfect but before I noticed that dishwasher was tilted way forward so there was a lot more water in the front and uh, when you have a higher water level here in the front uh, there is no gasket in the front it's only the side gaskets and this is called the splash guard which is still there and uh, if there's water a uh, high water level in the front sometimes from splashing water dripping from up high it can splash over the splash guard and leak out the front but for this one uh, what happened was uh, there is a, also a gasket here underneath where the float switch assembly connects and that gasket was leaking let me try to show you so this is this is the float switch assembly. Uh, so to take it out, you gotta push these two pins in, and these two guys. Uh, this cap come, opens up, and then uh, then you will see the switch there. And the whole leak was it's really hard to show here. Yeah, this has a lot of insulation here. But anyway, uh, there's a gasket there behind this foam. And uh, all you have to do is pull the, the float out from the top. When you open that the cap off, this float comes out and then you tighten the knot here. So there's a gasket there. So three things. Lean so again, I uh, didn't get to finish the video, the phone died, but basically I just want to go over the most possible causes what uh, dishwashers can leak from uh, quickly. I, so one of them would be the water valve, the connection to the water valve, small leak. Uh, and also depending on the model, it could be leaking through the main motor seal. Usually you can see a drip under. And also there's a diverter motor that uh, basically it selects which valve to blow water to like uh, upper arm or lower arm and uh, that is also a possible especially on these Kenmore's and Whirlpool models they use the same diverter motor so on this dishwasher I brought the diverter motor and the seal with me ended up being the leak through the water flow switch and uh, and there's other issues like around the door gasket sometimes but very rarely the door gasket needs to be replaced um, but usually it's the tilt forward uh, sometimes even the dishes the way they're aligned if the the spray is spraying towards the the door gasket on a certain angle it can actually blow through that seal and uh, and leak and uh, and also I've seen a lot the uh, wash arms get clogged the little holes get clogged with food particles seeds and then it sprays uh, water instead of spraying up it sprays to the side and that also can leak a small leak on a, it would like a drip on the side of the door so uh, yeah these basically cover all of the leak possibilities so I'll try make a video um, or more videos on exactly how to find the leaks on the dishwashers those are probably the most challenging I found from all the other appliances um, the last one that I tackled and um, yeah, hopefully that helps with your repairs guys. Thanks for watching the channel